American Gladiator is a New Jersey Highway Patrolman, an industrial relations specialist, a golf club salesman and bodybuilder, and a former Olympian. Are these four ready to rumble against the American Gladiators? Let the games begin. Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Adamley, along with Lisa Malosky. Glad you could join us here at Gladiator Arena as our first half season is in full swing. You know, last week we unveiled one of our brand new games called The Pyramid. It was so wild and so action-packed that we decided to lead off with it today, and that's going to be quite a wake-up call for our contenders, Lisa. It certainly will. I can't wait to see it. One of our contenders has a very interesting story. His name is Mark Muse. He's a New Jersey State Trooper who tried out for the American Gladiator show twice, didn't make it. Well, the third time was definitely the charm this time around. Mark's opponent today as we start off with the pyramid is Jerry Hill from San Antonio, Texas. Jerry is 30 years old. He sells golf equipment for his father in San Antonio, but his real love is bodybuilding. He's a fine athlete. Here, a look at Sabre and Tower, where the contenders have 60 seconds to make it all the way to the top. First man to do that will earn 10 points. If both men make it up, the second man up will get five. The one event where everybody goes flying, and here they go. The state trooper taking the outside line. Jerry Hill goes flying. Tower trying to keep up with Mark Muse. Doing a pretty good job of fronting him. Jerry Hill running all over the place. And Saber throws him down. 37 seconds now. Mark Muse getting close, but Tower's got him. Jerry Hill has been thrown all the way back to the bottom. Come down, Tower! Come down! Both men having a tremendously difficult time. <laughs> oh, man! Jerry's got a big smile on his face trying to get away from Sabre. Five seconds to go. I don't think either man is going to make it to the top. They will not. And that is it. The Tower of Power. And Sabre, always on the cutting edge, get the job done for the Gladiators. Let's take a look one more time to see how the Gladiators did this. That's Tower working on Mark Muse. Gives him one shove. He's out of here. And for Jerry Hill, Sabre was like a bad dream. Everywhere Jerry went, so did Sabre. The women are up next. Elizabeth Albright of New Jersey will battle Ruth Morris of San Francisco, California. Elizabeth, an industrial relations specialist from New Jersey. She acts as a go-between between labor and management. She will battle Ruth Morris, an administrative specialist in the U.S. Army, 27 years old. Here's the shot of Ruth at the 92 Olympics in Barcelona. She ran the 400 meters for the Virgin Islands. That was then her immediate concern, Jazz and Zap, and the Pyramid. Again, 60 seconds to time limit. Each gladiator has been assigned a contender. And Ruth Morris just shoved Jazz right down the Pyramid. Up she goes and nothing flat. Meanwhile, the game goes on with 40 seconds left. Gladiators have to play one-on-one, -on -one and Beth Albright's gladiator is Zap, and Zap doing a good job of keeping her away. Chaser, Chaser. Ruth Morris just having a good old time at the top of the pyramid. What a dynamic move to get by Jazz. Meanwhile, Zap doing her darndest, everything she has in her arsenal to keep Elizabeth Albright from making it to the top, and it's working. Three seconds, two seconds, and that is it. 
Ruth Morris gets the 10 points. Elizabeth Albright didn't score, but now at least she gets a break. We want to show you again how Ruth beats Jazz. Gives her a head fake. Jazz goes down. Ruth goes up. And we move on directly to Breakthrough and Conquer. Our next event, first up the men, and there's Jerry Hill doing a little damage fashion. It's going down. Going down. Nobody beats him. It's Turbo and Breakthrough talking the conquering. He's got no shortage of fans. Oh, a smart kid. That is right there is a smart young man. Future of America, baby. Woo. And from the future, we go to the present. Jerry Hill set to go a chance for a contender to pick up 10 points. Turbo about to check out Jerry's moves. He's not going for any of them. And Lanson on the sideline. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. And they got each other's dander up. He must have done something to rankle Turbo. Hold Let's on, take another on. look at it. Turbo driving Jerry down hard, out of bounds. Now, Jerry is not letting go of him, and I don't think Turbo appreciated that. He let him know. Anyway, no points for Jerry in breakthrough. Hawks got to watch himself. Boy, Jerry didn't have too much trouble in the conquer ring. He picks up five points, and he's showing everybody just how happy he is. Well, we wonder what kind of mood Turbo's in right now. Down. It can't Down. be a good one. There he is, stretching out and getting ready for the assault of Mark Muse, our New Jersey State ready, Trooper. Ready, ready. Well, he faked himself out. Hesitated for a second and then Turbo with the power plant. Yep. One more look at it, Jerry. Shuffling too much, fell right back. Ready. Now, let's see what happens to Hawk in the conquer ring. Uh-oh. Mark has got him with four seconds, and once the gladiator allows the contender to lock up with him and get a grip on his body, it's almost impossible to stay inside that ring. So Mark does pick up five points and finally gets on the board in Breakthrough and Conquer. Mark, what are you what are you telling us, Mark? It was the shoes. I slipped on the shoes. Otherwise, I would have ran in circles around them. Oh, you're playing on the shoes? Okay. Oh, definitely. It was the shoes. The shoes. Well, you didn't get through that, but you got the Conquer ring. You powered your way past Hawk. Very impressive, Mark. Most definitely. Well, I was a little angry at what happened out here, so I had to take it out on Hawk. Great job. Thank you. It's the shoes, baby. It's the shoes. Anything you say, Mark. Up now, the women, Ruth Morris, will start things off. She's already got 10 points to her credit. Siren will man the breakthrough portion of this event, and then it's Ice Ice Baby. There she is in the conquering. The ready. Ready, ready. Ruth with an abundance of athletic talent and power. She powered right through that, Mike. Ruth had told me that she loves this event and Powerball because shaking and baking is what she likes to do best, and she sure shook there in Breakthrough. See what she can do with Ice in the Conquering. Tough for the Gladiator here. They're at the disadvantage. Harder to stay in that ring than it is trying to pull someone out. Ice will try to stay low. Ruth will try to grab one of Ice's legs, shoot that single leg. happy, but Ruth not happy after failing in the conquer ring. She's complaining, saying Ice laid down. She couldn't get her, but I don't think that was the case. Still, we go on. Now Elizabeth Albright with her chance. Once again, Siren and Ice will do the honors for the Gladiators. Elizabeth has an elastic wrap around her midsection, and she was moments ago walking around very gingerly. Is she hurt? She certainly is, Mike. I saw her back in the training room. She took a knee to the right side of her rib cage during the pyramid. She said it's sore, but not career-threatening. <laughs> Getting wrapped up with Siren can be <laughs> career-threatening. Had a tough time getting by Siren. So our labor relations specialist will move on to the conquer ring in search of points. Here we go, ladies. Ready. A 
Again, the contender, the secret for the contender, get low and try to get into one of those legs. Ice able to control the head, and Elizabeth Albright gets shut out. Uh -huh. Elizabeth Albright now down 15 to nothing. She's hanging in there, though. Say it loud, I'm a gladiator and I'm proud. I'm as cold as ice. Laser, I know you got business to do in Atlasphere, but real quick, how's the shoulder and is it good to be back? Oh, it's great to be back. I tell you, it's uh, the shoulder's coming. We got a great trainer, but today the contenders are going to be held scoreless, and that's a promise. All right, Laser, go test the big, hey! big bang theory. The bang theory. Laser, one of the best at rocking the contenders in Atlasphere. Mark Muse and Jerry Hill tied at five points apiece. The thrill will be inside the red atmosphere. Our New Jersey State Trooper inside the blue one. Tank will join Laser. Once again, 60 seconds, the time limit. Contenders will try to roll their spheres into one of the four numbered scoring pods. Laser promised us a big bang and gave it to Jerry Hill there. Jerry trying to nudge his way into pod number four, can't do it. Mark just missed scoring at one. He's got to get a lot of momentum going, Mike, in order to get on top of that pod. Momentum that is generated by both your legs and your arms. 25 seconds to go. Mark Muse has got a breakaway. It looked like it rolled directly over the scoring sensor, but the sensor did not go off. Five seconds to go. The laser is doing exactly what he said he would, Mike. Jerry Hill went scoreless. Laser handled him very effectively through these 60 seconds. Nice job by Tank as well. On to the women we go. Ruth Morris with a 15-0 lead over Elizabeth Albright. Ruth from San Francisco, California has brought a few fans with her. Her nickname, Mercury, and she will try to live up to that nickname and turn on the Jets here. But right now, Lisa's with that. Elizabeth, I know you are an industrial relations specialist, and you work with labor and management, but you also went in and learned how to do the pipe fitting and welding by yourself. What I want to know is, have you ever seen anything that looks quite like this? I've seen a couple of uh, pipe fitting, a couple of welding, but I've usually been up on the top working down into it. Never have I been in the middle of a spherical welded uh, contraption, so not quite like this. Well, good luck. Should be fun. Thank you. And nobody's more interested in Elizabeth's performance inside that sphere than her husband, Scott. And you can be sure that Sky and Siren are not about to tap Elizabeth gingerly in these atmospheres. They're on their way. Look out. Beth, oh, great job. Her first points of the competition. I don't think she can get out, though. <laughs> Going for another one at pod number one, but everybody's down there, and we've got a real traffic jam. 35 seconds to go. She's going for the opening. Beth may get lucky again in pod number four. They're both there at the same time and can't score. Here comes Elizabeth heading for pod number three. Can she send it in? She does. Another goal. She literally lays down on top of that, Mike, and Ruth did the Ruth same. Ruth did too, but not. she didn't settle in enough to trigger the sensor. Here comes Beth again. She has finally found an event to her liking. That's it. <laughs> and that is it. Elizabeth Albright scored all three goals in that atmosphere match. Six points. Well, they did give credit to Ruth 
for the near miss, but the story was, as you're seeing, Elizabeth Albright, she really used her body to get into it. Elizabeth Albright with a lot of enthusiasm, and she had a lot of enthusiasm while diving for Penn State. In fact, was voted outstanding diver back in 1989. She got her start at Westchester East High School. I was on a small, went to a small school, and we didn't have a female team, so I dove on the men's team. And it taught me very early how to handle uh, male egos and, and to be in a man's world. And our world will continue to spin here at Gladiator Arena with Whiplash. That's next. And bet number four in this preliminary seating round matchup, it's Whiplash. 30 seconds of nonstop action. Ruth Morris with a 17 6 lead over Elizabeth Albright going into this event. Elizabeth is up first, and the focal point of her attention, that double triangle, the dog bone, as we like to call it. Beth, however, draws the mighty jazz in this event, and to own the bone, what that means for our contender is that they must rest that double triangle, that dog bone, away from the gladiator, or use it to pull the gladiator outside the ring. And Whiplash is brought to you by the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The best play here. Beth and Jazz hunkering down, getting a grip. Jazz really tugging on Beth. Beth has got her going a little bit. Jazz holding her ground. And oh, baby, what a decisive move by Beth Albright. She may have tweaked her ribs a little bit, but she got the job done. With seven seconds still left on the clock, and look at Scott, her husband, going wild up there. Ten points. And Elizabeth couldn't be happier with this upset. She gets a running start and pulls Jazz right out of there. Unbelievable. It is whiplash time for Ruth Morris. She draws Jazz. Ruth has 17 points through three events. Mike, she demonstrated time and time again in the scrimmages just how strong she is. This should be a great battle. The final instructions. Ready! There's the start. <laughs> Jazz rips it away from Ruth Morris. Dynamic, indeed. Ruth got twisted around. She had to let go of the bone or risk injury. Jazz whiplash, an event of truly who wants it more, and it was clear that you really wanted that thing. Well, it's been going all day. I just couldn't get that right tune together. But since the gladiators got here and pushed me and tell me that technique, all I can think of is stay calm and just work with it. Work that technique, work. Hey, you were dynamic. Way to go. Men are up next. Mark Muse, Jerry Hill still knotted up in five points apiece. Sabre is the man to beat. And you can be sure that a lot of Mark Muse's state trooper buddies back in Jersey are watching. Away now. Ready? 30 seconds. Let's see what Mark can do with Sabre. He's got Sabre going backwards. And that does not happen too often. Don't try this at home. He got that right, Mark. The key here, he got Sabre off balance, and that was all she wrote. Well, Sabre will be extra angry for the next contest. It's Jerry Hill's turn. Let's see if he can dance his way through this. Jerry short at five feet, six inches tall, but packs a lot of power on that frame. Sabre holding his own. Jerry doing his darndest to pull Sabre out. Five seconds to go. Sabre, like a counter puncher and boxer, waiting for Thrill Hill to make a move and never could make the move on Sabre. 
Sabre wasn't going to budge that time. The score now Muse, 15 to five over Jerry Hill. Sabre, first of all, congratulations. And for the people who think that the Gladiator ought to win because he's so much bigger, tell me about the dynamics of this event in Whiplash because it's not as it appears. The first guy caught me, I cramped a little bit. And he, just like a vicious dog is supposed to, he took the bone when I let up on my leg. But this is Gladiator Arena. The, the hungriest dog is gonna get, end up with the bone. And the first guy beat me, good shot. We ain't going nowhere. And you now own the bone, right? Yes, I do. I'm glad I could take it back. All right, Mike. Up next, Hang Tough, and we've got a rematch coming up. Jerry the Thrill Hill will go head to head with Turbo once again. You remember Breakthrough and Conquer? Well, we'll see if Jerry has cooled his jets yet. I like to let all the gladiators know that when you go up against Jerry Thrill Hill, you're not just going to see no acting. There's going to be no acting involved. It will be the real deal. Gladiator Arena is pumped up. Four events down. Four more to go. It's time for our contenders to hang tough our ring game. I look at Ruth Morris, who right now, after four events, leads Beth Albright 17-16. A chance for her to pick up 10 points if she can cross this grid of 48 rings in under one minute. Her task, a difficult one, because on the rings for the Gladiators is Zap. Contenders must keep one eye on the rings and another eye on the Gladiator. Ruth Morris moving extremely well, and Zap in trouble. She's got the right technique, Mike. Nice and smooth, good rhythm. Ruth now crossing over, getting oh. precariously close to Zap, and then all of a sudden, she lost her grip and down she went. Wow. A little over anxious there, Mike. Way to win. That's an easy way to win. I don't have to do much. I'll take that win. Thanks, Ruth. <laughs> Any way you can get it, Zap. Here it is. Once again, there she goes. Well, so far, the surprise of this preliminary round match, I think anyway, has been Elizabeth Albright. She is up now with a chance to move ahead of Ruth Morris in Hank Tough. And we talk about someone who is handle adversity well today, Lisa. It's Beth Albright. You're certainly right, Mike. And she just keeps smiling. This girl has got a lot of spunk. She's just an inspiration. She banged up her ribs in the very first event. The Pyramid has come on strong, fighting back the pain, beat Jazz in whiplash, and now has some serious momentum on her side. She's trying to deal with Zap here on the rings. She's crossing over. She can get one more ring before Zap gets there. She's got a serious chance. Oh, just out of her reach. She's very 20. comfortable up there, Mike. Got to move, Zap! 15 seconds. Zap. Now we're down to 10. Elizabeth crosses over. She could just, oh, oh man, oh! We're gonna have to see if that counts. It happened right at the wire. Right at the clock, she ran into Zap. It's mighty close, mighty close. I think we're gonna have to look at this. Well, Elizabeth, unbelievable. Less than a second, less than a half a second, and you were still on the ring. Five point draw. So a less, ah. less than a second, you get the point. Tell me about that fall. Oh my gosh, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. She hit me, and all of a sudden I saw like red mat, and I think my diving came into effect. I just curled up with hoping I land on my back. Oh good god. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, try to get excited, Beth, now, will you? She's got the lead. Well, this may be Gladiator Arena, but Jerry Hill could have the home ring advantage here based on the number of people 
who are cheering him on, who have flown in from San Antonio, including his two sisters, Rosalind and Michelle. Jerry has been anything but a thrill so far, but I have a feeling he might break through in this second half of the competition. However, he's got to deal with the Lord of the Rings first, and that, of course, is Turbo. Remember, these two men met in Breakthrough and Conquer and got into it a bit. No love lost, I guess we can say that, Mike. Jerry has to back off early on because Turbo is stalking him relentlessly. Could be over. Not yet. <laughs> 34 seconds, maybe now. Turbo's got the leg lock. And Jerry really has to handcuff now. <laughs> it would be a monumental effort by Jerry Hill if he hangs on to Turbo like this. Unbelievable strength. I'll tell you what, he had to go down sometime, and that's a great shot right there, folks. Jerry Hill and Turbo tangled in breakthrough. They tangled again and hang tough, but they walk off the mat, saluting one another. Excellent, excellent match by both I guys. I you two got each other in the gals coming. That's what they tell me. Well, if Jerry lost Turbo's respect in Breakthrough and Conquer, Jerry got it back here in Hang Tough. Guys, you had a little trouble between the two of you in Breakthrough and Conquer, but I think you've settled your differences. Yeah, we had a, it's one of those competition misunderstandings. We talked about it, got it out of our system, went to business here. This guy, I was getting tired. I don't know if he was, I was getting tired of hanging on to him. I guess so, Jerry. How did you hang on that long? I don't know, I just, the crowd was just hollering and I just held on as long as I came. You gave us a great show, guys. Thank you very much. Good job, man. good job. What a gut check by Jerry with Trail Hill. Mark Muse, our New Jersey State Trooper with no shortage of intestinal fortitude. He's up next against Turbo. I'm the man. I am the man. Whatever you say, Turbo. Mark, as you can see Ready? from this picture, has had some experience on the rings doing the Iron Cross. Dabbles in gymnastics to stay in shape. Quite obvious he is skilled up here. Mike, he was the junior Olympic bronze Michael. medalist in 1975 as a gymnast. You gotta go, you gotta go this way, let's go! Look at Turbo cut him off though. Everywhere Mark goes, Turbo goes. And Turbo hanging on by just a single grip, but he Got, go. Got another green. Watch your face. Watch your face. Turbo inadvertently had gotten a hold of Mark Muse's face, trying to reach out for an appendage, an arm, and a leg. And Turbo goes two for two. Despite the talent that Mark so obviously possesses. I'm the man. Well, Mark Muse is quite a man himself, our state trooper from New Jersey. Unlike a Charles Barkley character, I would accept the challenge of being a positive role model to the, uh, the youth of today. I know my abilities, and I don't have to, to boast or brag. Uh, I'll do all of my bragging uh, uh, on the floor of my performances. A trip up our 32-foot wall awaits our two contenders in this preliminary round match between Ruth Morris and Elizabeth Albright. Elizabeth with the four-point lead. Ruth will be trailed up the wall by Ice Ice Baby. And following Beth up the wall will be the Zapster. And this could be a cliffhanger between these two women. The general ready. Again, unlike last year, there are no head starts. Everybody starts at the same time. 
And if you don't get going in a hurry, the Gladiator will cut you off at the pass. Ruth Morris looking good. Beth, because she had some problems early on, is about even Steven with Zap. Now Zap crosses over and is moving in. Dynamic move there, Lisa. Beautiful move. She is so gutsy, Mike. Ruth was moving very quickly, but now she's been stumped right there in the middle. It's like solving a puzzle in midair, and Ice is a good climber and has got her. Look at Elizabeth. Oh. Every time we count this woman out. <laughs> she surprises us. <laughs> Take a bow, Beth. You've earned it. Now just don't die from the top. He's a quick little guy, and I'm a big guy. He's got the advantage, but I'm gonna catch him. I'll catch him. So the Hawk issues the challenge to the thrill. He's ready to fly. He's a big gun. You call the tank. Yeah. Question is, can the tank, a rock solid 250 pounds, defy gravity to get Mark Muse? The four men start at the same time, and here they go. Crossing over and moving in on Mark Muse, but Mark awfully quick. He's already to the middle section here. He was excellent on the wall during the scrimmages, and, and he's doing it again, Mike. Wow. wow. He did it in 24 seconds. Jerry Hill getting close as well. He is powering his way to the top. So, Mark Mears being the first man up will get 10 points, and Jerry, five for being the second contender up. Tank Ooh. and Hawk were closing in, but this event belonged to the contenders today. And a reminder here in this preliminary round, the contenders will be trying to rack up as many points as they can as they'll be seated one through eight once the elimination round begins. It's just the beginning of a long, long road that ultimately leads to the Grand Championship where the winners will take home this American Gladiator Crystal. Coming up next, Crunch Time. Gladiator Arena, Los Angeles, California. It is Crunch Time, our seventh event. One to go before the Eliminator. Today's Crunch Time event, the Joust, the men up first. Mark Hughes, our New Jersey State Trooper, will battle it out with Turbo. On guard! Mark getting in some early shots. Turbo with some wild swings. Wow. That one found the mark, though. 15 seconds to go. Mark is showing great balance up there. He is taking, like you said, some great shots, but countering. Remember, this is the kid that tried out three times for the American Gladiators. He is going to die hard, and he goes the distance. Turbo appreciates his effort. Five points for mighty Mark Muse. Mark looking great in that event. He is starting to play up to his potential. And looking like a number one seed. Turbo taking a breather now as he sets his sights on our next contender, Jerry Hill. The thrill has been a bit of a disappointment to himself. He thought he'd have more points by this juncture of the competition. Look at Jerry Hill. He is way away. Now Turbo fires back. And Turbo gets the win because Hill went off the platform first. It was close. You're close, Jerry, but you had left the platform before he did. Okay. Let's take another look at it. Here comes Turbo. Nice shot. Jerry's going down. How close? Look at their feet. Jerry is off. Turbo still on. And a crucial 10 points flies out the window for Jerry Hill. Well, it's crunch time for Elizabeth Albright. And she's been doing a lot of crunching this afternoon, Lisa. Absolutely, Mike. She has continued to impress us, just like the Energizer Bunny. 
Who does she draw on the joust? None other than Ice. On guard! Ice on the offensive immediately. Elizabeth taking some nasty headshots there early on. Trying to step out of harm's way, and yet at the same time mount some kind of attack. Nice. Five Duck. seconds to go. Ice has her hands full. And how about it? <laughs> Beautiful. The underdog does it again. Here's a woman who looked like she was ready to pack her bags after the pyramid when she bruised those ribs, but she came back roaring, especially here in the joust, defended herself well and picked up five. Now Ruth Morris will try to do the same against Ice. On guard! Oh. Wild swing by Ruth, almost lost her stick. Ice is waiting. <laughs> Our close combat drill instructors thought Ruth was the quickest study among our contenders. She's showing us why. And she hits hard, Mike. Both women probing, looking for the opening. <laughs> yes, son of a gun. <laughs> a draw. Ruth Morris gets five points. Ruth Moore is now trailing 36 to 22. Ruth ran in the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona for the U.S. Virgin Islands. You see her training there. What an athlete. What I hate the most is... A coward. My philosophy of life is... Compete to be the best. Getting hit upside the head with a jazz stick feels like... A ton of bricks landing on my face. My IQ is infinite. In public eye, show respect. I'm like a hawk because of my aggression. People say I look like Dennis the Menace. <laughs> I'm cocky because I can be. We're about to put the punctuation mark on today's competition. The final showdown, the eliminator. Ruth Morris and Elizabeth Albright are poised at the start, ready to run. And right now, Lisa's with the U.S. Army Administrative Specialist, who has to come from behind. Ruth, you were in both the 88 and 92 Olympic Games. What I want to know is, are you ready to give us a gold medal performance right now? I intend to, because God's will. Good luck. Ruth Morris trails Elizabeth Albright by 14 points. And again, according to our eliminator scoring format, every point is worth a half second in time, which means that Ruth has to make up a seven second deficit as far as head start time is concerned. And the eliminator is brought to you by M&M's chocolate candies. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Ready? The 30 foot Versa climber to the top of the arena and then down a slide. Here comes Ruth Morris. Mike, she was a 400 meter runner and I'll tell you from experience, I think that's one of the toughest races in track. Very few runners have anything left in reserve once that event is over. You need every bit of stamina you possess. Ruth needs it here to catch up with Beth Albright. She is catching up with Elizabeth. Oh man, a double, a double kiss she off came, those spinning cylinders. She came down hard. She's down underneath here, Mike. Meanwhile, Elizabeth Albright. Coming on strong, down the zip line. Pushing hard to make it over that wall. Now the real test. Trying to muster all the energy she can. She's there, and she's made it. 
swinging through the barrier to win it. Her time, Lisa, one minute and 25 seconds. Well, Ruth did not finish. She is now being attended to by Chris and Terry, our trainers. What a fall. Elizabeth, I know you are pooped out, but what a performance today. Thank you. Yeah, I was thinking at the beginning, got about a minute. That's about it. Gotta give it all you got, because this is Lynn. Oh, I'm happy. Congratulations. You Thank were fabulous. You. Thank you. Thank you. And Lisa, good news from the training room. Ruth Morris is okay, but she gave us all quite a scare when she fell off that cylinder. Now in the men's pairing between Jerry Hill and Mark Muse, it has been the New Jersey State Trooper with the most arresting performance so far. The question is, does the thrill have the will to come from behind? Let's find out. Lisa's with him at the start line. Jerry, I know that you have said you're going to dedicate this competition to your mother, Janola. What do you have to say to her right now? Well, right now, uh, Lisa, I'm going to say an old saying that an old contender used to say on the show uh, about two years ago, Kimberly Lance. It's not over till it's over. Good luck. Jerry Hill, a historian of the Glads. On course, there's Laser and Hawk ready to impose a penalty if need be should the contenders fall off the hand bike. We're ready to go. Ready! <laughs> 35-year-old Mark Muse tried out once for the American Gladiators, did not make it. Tried out twice, did not make it. Tried out again this past summer, and finally made it, and here he is. Showing us why he deserved to be here. Mark Muse smoking a hand bike. Flying across the cylinder. Making short work of the cargo net. Here comes the thrill, however. Oh, Jerry, a giant leap from that cylinder. Mark Mews hoping to have a shot at that top seed that awaits our contenders in the elimination round. That's how they'll be paired. According to how they do here, Mark Mews finishes first. Here comes Jerry. His first attempt up the treadmill. Didn't work, but that one did. And now he finishes. The time for Mark News, one minute and three seconds. Mark, you were not going to be denied here at the American Gladiators. No, not this time. I had a rough start, but perseverance, I came back. And I'm the first set to finish line. You were fabulous. Thank Thanks you very much. Lisa, you know his buddies back on the force in Piscataway, New Jersey, where he's a state trooper, are mighty proud of their main man. See you next week, everybody.